In the last video, I showed you how to uh, set up the REST API on 40 gate firewall, 7x uh, firmware version. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fetch the information from the 40 gate firewall using the same REST API configuration that we have and the token that we have generated. So right now on my screen, this is the 40 gate firewall administrator. Inside the administrator, you will see REST API or administrator. Two of them, one is API, another one is API testing. So you can make use of both of them to fetch the information from the 40 gate firewall. And I'm going to show you how you can do it from the API tool like uh, Postman and from the uh, Linux machine using the curl command as well. So um, beginning from the 40 gate firewall CLI, So if you have the API token, then it's uh, good. You can use the same token, else you will have to regenerate the token. And you cannot view this token. You will have to regenerate the token if you do not have this token available with you. So the command is execute API user generate key and the API username. For example, I showed you here, this is the API username and all the command reference is available all the command references are available in my external link that i'm going to share in the description so you can refer them for your testing purpose so this particular command will generate the token api key this is the api key now let's go to our machine window machine this is the window machine and I have the postman already configured to show you how you can use them. For example, first we'll try to fetch the global configuration. So what you can do is you can click on the main category, click on the three dots, add request. Once you do that, you will see like this, you can rename the request for future use like I have named it as global. And then coming down, I've selected get, method is get. In this tutorial, we are only going to use the method get. Maybe in future, I'll show you how you can change the parameter on the 40 gate firewall using the API token and the privileges. So to get the global information from the 40 gate firewall, you can click the method as get, and you can update the IP and the URL as on my screen. The reference is already available in the in the link in the description. You can go to my blog and get the command. So this is the 40 gate firewall IP, the management IP, API version two, CMDD, system hierarchy, and then global. So inside the authorization, the second tab, the type should be selected as token bearer token. And then inside the bearer token, you can update the key that you have generated. So this is the same key that we have generated on the 40 gate firewall. Once you have that information, you can click on send. That will basically fetch you the information. I cannot show you the entire output because it contains the sensitive information. So you can see here all the configuration fetched by the postman tool. Similarly, for address group, to fetch the address group, you can create one more request, put the method as get, same URL, firewall group, and the authorization you can see here in token send. You will see the information regarding the addresses, G suit, these are default addresses. Microsoft Office 365, for example, to fetch the policy number one, you can go to the same hierarchy, firewall policy, and then the serial number of the policy. Click one, click send, and then you can see here the information getting fetched. Let's try to fetch the API user information, hierarchy system API user. Click on send, you will see that the same API user, API and API testing, you will see. You can see here, two of them. 
API testing and API. So we have two API users, access profile. Let's try to do that as well. So ACC profile, let's try to send. So this is the access profile, all configured on the firewall. If you want to fetch the interface information, then you can go to system interface and use the same token. This will give you the configuration of all the interfaces on the FortiGate firewall. To get specific interface, you can use the name of that interface, for example, port one, interface slash port one, and you should see the respective information for port one. For example, the IP address configured on port one. And to get the static route information, well, you can use the hierarchy router static with the same key. This will again fetch the information regarding the static route configuration on the FortiGate firewall. Pretty simple using the REST API. Now we'll try to do it from the Linux machine using the curl command. Okay, so let's try to, you know, run some command, for example, to con to get the OSPF configuration on the FortiGate firewall, you can use this command. I'm only going to output 15 lines from the beginning to avoid any sensitive information from getting displayed on my screen. So you can see here, using the curl command, curl minus K minus H header, authorization bearer. This is the token that we have generated on the FortiGate firewall. Same token. And then the URL, like the one that we have configured on the Postman 2, 192.168.0.108 being the firewall interface IP. API command, router, OSPF, the same token, access token. Let's try to fetch some information regarding the static route configuration. So you can see here, this is the configuration for static route. Well, I'm not outputting the entire data. In your case, you can remove this particular command and run it directly to get the complete output. Let's try to fetch some information regarding the interface. Port one. So this is how you run the command on your Linux machine. If you do not wish to use the API tool like Postman and you can see the information on your screen in the next video, maybe I'll try to show you how you can use the curl command or the Postman tool to do some changes to the FortiGate firewall using the REST API user account. That's all in this video. You can find all the reference command in the description. You can go to the blog and get the command reference. At last, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.